Buritus, Latin, Colonia Iulia Augusta Felix Buritus was a Roman colonia that was the center of Roman presence in the eastern Mediterranean shores south of Anatolia. Roman Buritus modern Beirut was the capital of Phoenicia during Roman times. The veterans of two Roman legions under Augustus were established in the city the 5th Macedonian and the 3rd Gallic, that afterward quickly became Romanized and was the only fully Latin speaking in the Syria Phoenicia region until the 4th century. History In 140 BC the Phoenician village called Baruta was destroyed by Diodotus Tryphon in his contest with Antiochus VII Cities for the throne of the Macedonian Seleucid monarchy. Later it was soon rebuilt on a more conventional Hellenistic plan and renamed Laodicea in Phoenicia Greek, Laodikeia he en Phoeniki or Laodicea in Canaan in honor of a Seleucid Laodice. The city was conquered by the Romans of Pompey in 64 BC and renamed Buritus as a reference to the name of the old original Phoenician port village. The city was assimilated into the Roman Empire, veteran soldiers were sent there, and large building projects were undertaken. Buritus was made a Roman colony about 14 BC. Herod the Great, Agrippa I and II, and Queen Berenice built exedras, porticos, temples, a forum, a theatre, amphitheatre, and baths here. In the 3 DC AD the city became the seat of a famous school of law and continued to flourish until the earthquake of AD. 551 ravaged the city. Its streets, laid out on a grid plan, are spaced at roughly the same intervals as those of Damascus and Laodicea. The new Roman city spread farther S and W of the port, with its forum near the actual Place de l'Etoile. On its end side was a civic basilica 99 meters long with a Corinthian portico of polychrome materials. Dating from the 1st c. A.D. Some large baths have been uncovered on the east slope of the actual Colline du Cereal, and the Hippodrome lay on the NW side of the same hill. Some villas in A.S. suburb facing the sea had mosaic floors now in the Beirut Museum, some 12 km upstream on the Beirut River are the ruined arches of an aqueduct. Buritus was considered the most Roman city in the eastern provinces of the Roman Empire. It was one of four Roman colonies in the Syria Phoenicia region and the only one with full ius italicum, meaning, exemption from imperial taxation. Its territory under Claudius reached the Baca Valley and included Heliopolis. It was the only area mostly Latin speaking in the Syria Phoenicia region, because settled by Roman colonists who even promoted agriculture in the fertile lands around actual Yamun. From the 1st century BC the Baca Valley served as a source of grain for the Roman provinces of the Levant and even for the same Rome today the valley makes up to 40% of Lebanon's arable land, Roman colonists created there even a country district called Pegas Augustus. In 14 BC, during the reign of Herod the Great, Buritus became an important Roman colonia. The city was named Colonia Iulia Augusta Felix Buritus in honor of Julia, the only daughter of Augustus, according to Theodore Momsen, Race Geste Divi Augusti, 2, 119. Furthermore, the veterans of two Roman legions were established in the city of Buritus by Emperor Augustus, the 5th Macedonian and the 3rd Gallic. Consequently, the city quickly became fully Romanized. Large public buildings and monuments were erected and Buritus enjoyed full status as a part of the empire. Agrippa greatly favored the city of Buritus, and adorned it with a splendid theater and amphitheater, beside baths and porticos, inaugurating them with games and spectacles of every kind, including shows of gladiators. But now only minor ruins remains, in front of the Catholic Cathedral of Beirut. Indeed, four large bath complexes as well as numerous private baths increased the city's water consumption. The Romans constructed an aqueduct fed by the Beirut River, whose main source was located 10 kilometers from the city. The aqueduct crossed the river at Canader Zabida, and the water finally reached the place of actual Riyadh al Solh Square. There, at the foot of the Sarail Hill, it was stored in large cisterns. An intricate network of lead or clay pipes and channels distributed the water to the various pools of the Roman baths. Roman Buritus was a city of nearly 50,000 inhabitants during Trajan times and had a huge forum and necropolis. The Hippodrome of Roman Buritus was the largest known in the Levant, while literary sources indicate there was even a theatre. Scholars like Linda Hall pinpoint that the Hippodrome was still working in the 5th century. Buritus had a monumental Roman gate 
with huge walls recently discovered and was a trade center of silk and wine production, well connected by efficient Roman roads to Heliopolis and Caesarea. According to Kevin Butcher, the Latin character of Buridus remained dominant until the 5th century. The city was a center for the study of Latin literature and after Septimius Severus of Roman law. Under Nero the son of a Roman colonist, Marcus Valerius Probus born in Buridus around 25 AD, was known in all the empire as a Latin grammarian and literature master philologist. Roman emperors promoted the development of high-level culture in the fully Romanized city even in Greek languages with Hermippus of Buridus, its law school was widely known in the Roman Empire. Two of Rome's most famous jurists, Papinian and Ulpian, both natives of Phoenicia, taught there under the Severan emperors. When Justinian assembled his Pandex in the 6th century, a large part of the corpus of laws was derived from these two jurists, and in 533 AD Justinian recognized the school as one of the three official law schools of the empire. After the 551 Beirut earthquake the students were transferred to Sidon. Since the 3rd century, the city had an important law college. It was here that the great codification of Roman law, which was to be propagated by emperors like Theodosius II and Justinian, was prepared. Under the Eastern Roman Empire, some intellectual and economic activities in Buridus continued to flourish for more than a century, even if the Latin language started to be replaced by the Greek language. However, in the 6th century a series of earthquakes demolished most of the temples of Heliopolis actual Baalbek and destroyed the city of Buridus, leveling its famous law school and killing nearly 30,000 inhabitants. Furthermore, the ecumenical Christian councils of the 5th and 6th centuries AD were unsuccessful in settling religious disagreements within the surviving community. Buridus became a Christian see at an early date, and was a suffragan of Tyre in Phoenicia Prima, a province of the Patriarchate of Antioch. In antiquity its most famous bishop was Eusebius, afterwards bishop of Nicomedia, the courtier prelate and strong supporter of Arianism in the 4th century. In 450 AD Buridus obtained from Theodosius II the title of Metropolis, with jurisdiction over six seas taken from Tyre, but in 451 AD the «Council of Chalcedon» restored these to Tyre, leaving, however, to Buridus its rank of Metropolis Mansi, 7, Thus, from 451 AD Buridus was an exempt metropolis depending directly on the Patriarch of Antioch. This turbulent Byzantine period weakened the Romanized and fully Christian population and made it easy prey to the newly converted Muslim Arabs of the Arabian Peninsula. Roman Buridus reduced to the size of a village fell to the Arabs in 635 AD. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Recent discoveries. Recently at the Garden of Forgiveness the two main streets of Roman Buridus, the Cardo and Decamanus Maximus, were discovered in the Beirut Central District. Their shaded colonnades became busy markets on festival days. At other times, these streets would have been frequented by law school students and citizens passing to the Forum or visiting temples and churches. In 1968 were discovered the Roman Baths. Gardens, that is a landscaped public space that lies on the eastern slope of the Sorail Hill. It consists of a garden and a set of uncovered ruins of the ancient Roman baths of Buridus, hence the name of the place. These ruins underwent a thorough cleaning and further excavation in 1995-1997. Designed by the British landscaping firm Gillespie's, the garden's layout is dominated with low-slung glass walls and lookout platforms that can be turned into concert venues, thus giving a 21st-century touch without harming the area's historical fabric. At the turn of the 20th century was identified the area where existed the famous school of Roman law at Buridus. Archaeological excavations in the area between the St. George Greek Orthodox Cathedral and St. George Cathedral of the Maronites unearthed a funerary steel etched with an epitaph to a man named Patricius, whose career was consecrated for the study of law. The epitaph was identified as being dedicated to the famous 5th century law school professor. In 1994, archaeological diggings underneath the St. George Greek Orthodox Cathedral in Beirut Central District's Nama Square identified structural elements of the Anastasis Cathedral, but they were restricted to an area of 316 square meters 3, square feet and failed to unearth the interred school. In the 5th century, Zachariah's reader reported that the school stood next to the Temple of God, 
the description of which permitted its identification with the Byzantine Anastasis Cathedral. See also Roman Phoenicia Roman Baths, Beirut Cisterns of the Roman Baths, Beirut Hermippus of Buridus Marcus Valerius Probus Notes Bibliography Butcher, Kevin. Roman Syria and the Near East Getty Publications. Los Angeles, 2003 ISBN 0892367156-2 Colonnet, Paul Histoire de l'école de droit de Beirut in French. Paris, Société Anonyme du Recul Syrie. Gill, Moshe, Ethel Broido A History of Palestine. Cambridge University Press ISBN 978-0-521-59984-9. Hall, Linda J. Roman Buridus, Beirut in Late Antiquity. Psychology Press. London, 2004 ISBN 978-0-415-28919-1-3. Moterde, René et Lafre, Jean Beirut Ville Romaine. Publications de la Direction des Antiquités du Liban, Beirouth. Scaff, Isabel, Yasmine Macaroon Bo Asif November 29 to December 3, 2005. Aicha Ben Abed Ben Kader, Martha Demas, Thomas Roby, eds. Une nouvelle approche pour la préservation in situ des mosaques et vestiges archéologiques au Liban, la crypta de l'église saint Georges à Beirouth. Lessons Learned, Reflecting on the Theory and Practice of Mosaic Conservation 9th ICCM Conference, Hammamet, Tunisia in French. Getty Publications. ISBN 9780892369767. Hammamet, Tunisia. Ben Abed Ben Kader, 